Candace Cameron Bure has been capturing the hearts of TV fans since the late 80s, but after offering up some controversial social and political stances in the past few years, she and her wardrobe have been under some pretty heavy public scrutiny. In 2017, Bure shared an Instagram post wearing a casual look, dark gray drawstring sweatpants, and a white t-shirt featuring the quote, not today, Satan. Drag queen Bianca Del Rio previously brought the quote to mainstream pop culture vernacular after using it in season six of RuPaul's Drag Race, and even sold her own merch with the phrase on it. Not today, Satan. Not today. Bure likely wore the shirt due to her religious faith, and may have even been unaware of its pop cultural connections. Regardless, when Del Rio saw Bure wear Wearing the shirt, she promptly took a screenshot and posted it with the caption, If only this homophobic Republican knew. Del Rio later shared Beret's comment to her post on Instagram, too. In response to Del Rio's post, Beret asked the model, Why do you have to be nasty to me? You don't know me or my heart. I'm not homophobic and always sad when people think otherwise. Loving Jesus doesn't mean I hate gay people or anyone. Bure also mentioned how Del Rio's initial post caused her to receive mean comments and added, I hope next time you'll spread love and kindness, even when you disagree with people. Sending you love and wish you all the best. Truly, Candace. Bure likely didn't mean to ruffle feathers with her choice of shirt, but based on the contentious comments she's made about LGBTQ plus issues in the past, it's unsurprising people weren't happy with her wearing it. Wedding etiquette is crucial, and in 2021, some felt Bure broke some rules with the dress she chose to wear to someone's nuptials. A family photo shared to Instagram in October 2021 featured Candace, her husband Valerie Bure, her daughter Natasha, and her son Lev in formal wedding attire. Candace and Natasha's dresses were bright red, and some commenters felt that wasn't proper. One person complimented the dresses, but said they wouldn't personally go for red in that instance, writing, You were supposed to let the bride stand out. It looks as though you were drawing attention to yourself. The same commenter went on to criticize the men's outfits, since their pants showed bare ankles without socks. They also called the entire Beret family beautiful and sent their best wishes for the celebration. Another commenter said, Bride is the star, not the guests. Pretty dresses, yes, but not your moment. Disable comments if you want a one-sided opinion with a heart like. Based on reporting by Life & Style magazine, it seems Candace may have deleted other negative comments about her family's looks that she initially replied to in defense of their fits. The role Beret is likely most known for is DJ Tanner from Full House and Fuller House. She portrayed the character initially from 1987 to 1995, and then again from 2016 to 2020 for the reboot. When she shared a photo posing on set with her Fuller House co-stars in 2016, fans of hers weren't too pleased with the short piece she was wearing. It was black with a lace v-neck and nude cutouts on the sides. Notably, the look was a costume and an outfit even her character DJ felt unsure about wearing. I don't know if I should be tugging this thing down or pulling it up. <laughs> Despite it not being one of Beret's own outfits, that didn't stop the backlash. One fan commented, I thought she stands for Christian values. Another echoed a similar sentiment before adding, This makes me so sad. I can't let my kids watch this. Is this how you dress? Bure ended up removing the post from her Instagram account, though a record of the outfit will live on for as long as Fuller House is available for streaming. In 2023, the Barbie movie swept the nation, and many fans dressed up in pink Barbie-like looks to see the film. Bure joined in on the fun in August 2023, sharing a throwback post on Instagram of herself and her Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries co-star Mary Lou Henner in doll-like looks. The woman stood in front of small pink Barbie doll boxes and wore workout gear fit for everyone's favorite fashion doll. Beret's outfit featured a pink push-up bra underneath a bright blue leotard, white tights, pink leg warmers, pink sweatbands, and a pink scrunchie and belt. Along with the photo, Beret wrote the caption, I've suddenly realized that Mary Lou Henner and I barbied before Barbie even barbied. One person commented, quote, didn't expect this from Candace, but didn't clarify what about the outfit they didn't like. Some Christian fans were displeased with Bure's Barbie look because they felt it promoted a movie with content that went against their religion. As one commenter wrote, Are you supporting the Barbie movie with this timely picture? The movie does not support Christian values. In a reply to a different comment claiming the photo was taken before the Barbie movie, Bure clarified when they dressed up in their Barbie best, saying she and Henner had donned the outfits all the way back in 2020 while quarantine was still in effect. She didn't say anything else in the post about her feelings on the Barbie film. Barbie.